everything. It's just been a wonderful, wonderful season. Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden. It's so good to be here with you today. I just decided that I wanted to enjoy the last of the um, beautiful harvest because the weather has changed so much. Last night it was 38 degrees here in Boston and even right now the temperature hasn't moved or changed that much. But it's sunny so in the sun it's, it's pretty pleasant. Well, I decided that I needed to go and harvest some of those flowers that I've been longing to harvest for a while. And you can take a look and see. So in harvesting them, I've just been enjoying and meditating and remembering and recalling the wonderful time that I spent in the garden and in the garden with you. I'm so happy that you could be a part of this process with me. Yes, I've really enjoyed my experiences in gardening with the flowers and with the fruits and um, the vegetables. <laughs> Everything, it's just been a wonderful, wonderful season. And I know that it's not over yet because we still have the leaves changing. The leaves falling, there's so many leaves falling. Yes, I'm going to have to gather all of those leaves and rake and compost and prepare and start planting. Now is the time to plan for the future. Ooh, it's so breezy. But um, I'm still enjoying it, the fresh air, because soon we're really gonna be indoors. Today is 38 degrees outside, and the weather is getting really cold. Last night was fairly cold, and um, I was able to take in some of my more tender plants. But I see these wonderful hydrangea blossoms here, and I really don't want to see them go to waste. So I am going to um, cut them and create a floral bouquet with these wonderful blossoms and add them to the house for the Thanksgiving season, the fall season, and see how long they will last. I think I'm going to cut as many as possible. So now I'm going to take it from a very, I'm going to take it from um, deep in, probably right about here. good thing about it is that I was able to get two at a time. Now on other occasions it would have been hard for me to actually cut these blossoms but I'm going to put this down and cut them and then come back to you. Now here are the beautiful blossoms and you can just take a look at them. You can see the colors in the sunlight here on the table. It just looks so beautiful. What a wonderful harvest of beauty. I'm going to make a, a bouquet. Probably two of them if I can. Put them on the mantle and freshen the mantle with these beautiful bouquets. Now I have some others um, hydrangea blossoms in the landscape but we'll see how far we go if if it, I cannot fill up and create a big huge one or bouquet um, then what I will do is go and get some more we'll see Well, 
Well, what I did was I filled these two vases with water. Now I'm going to go through the process of uh, pulling the leaves off and then putting them into the vase. And then I'm going to place them in my living room. Yes, but it's so nice out. It's just, um, it's cool and chilly, but the sun is shining right here so that it makes it a pleasant location. And I probably soon will not be able to do this because the temperature is really dropping quickly. Um, but today with the sun, it makes it possible to actually be out here. Plus I'm layered with quite a, a lot of clothing. <laughs> so that I can stay nice and warm. But here we go, here's the process. Putting the flowers together is a great meditation. It's almost like thinking about the time that it took for these flowers and blooms to grow. And now I'm actually looking at each individual blossom and just stripping the leaves And thinking about this, how they've given so much joy in the landscape and attracting bees, <laughs> and how they're going to give so much joy in my home. Oh, this is a bee. I've decided to come and check out the blooms back here to see if I can make a nice bouquet too with the in the other one, in the other vase. I see some good ones. I think I'm going to take a couple of these here. And um, this is in the back garden. Remember where I'm making my hedge? Yeah. So I'm going to take some of these pretty decent I think so this is what I came up with from down there now it's totally different some of the blooms the colors are different this was more intense in its coloring than this than those back there I think because of the sunlight but it'll still look pretty they don't have to be um, Twins, they can be sisters. <laughs> well, this is my final arrangement. I went out and I actually picked some zinnias and made a bouquet of zinnias. And I think it came out really good. They're not twins, but they are sisters here. These two uh, hydrangea bouquets. And they will look good, I think, in my, on my mantle or in my house. Um, just to remind me of the beautiful summer of flowers. Yes, it was really, really a beautiful summer of flowers. And now we can harvest them in the fall. So we're gonna celebrate with these beautiful bouquets. I didn't have to go out and buy them. I'm sure it would cost me a good 30 bucks or so, or more for hydrangeas. But I was able to actually cut them from my garden and produce my own joy. Isn't that wonderful? I am so happy and thank you so much for being a part of this process with me. I hope you can feel my joy and I hope that it gives you joy too. And enjoy your garden. Well, if you liked this video of me putting together these floral arrangements and enjoying the flowers, then like, share and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know how are you doing? Are you gathering your harvest, your flowers? What are you doing? What are you up to? And um, 
Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs> Everything. It's just been a wonderful, wonderful season.